Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting Father, our God, our Father, thank you for every down thing you have done. Thank you for the program. Thank you for this morning. Lord, we know you are with us. Therefore, whatever that will stand against the program, let those powers be disgraced out of this auditorium. Father, I present your people before you. Take over our lives. Give us our heart desires. Silence our enemies forever. Holy Spirit, I cannot do without you. Take absolute control. Talk to your people through me. And give us directions. At the end of God, you alone will be glorified. And we will be smiling in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to do one thing before we sit down. And what we are going to do is for everybody, for all creations, unless you know you are not created. Praise the Lord. I want to remind you again of the team. Okay, let me ask you, those that were here in the morning section, what is the team of the program? I didn't hear you. Victory through the blood of who? Jesus Christ. You don't sleep and wake up and become victorious. There is a price to pay for victory. Am I talking to somebody? So, whether you're a minister, you're a bishop, you're a pastor, Evangelist, you matter in your office. There's a price to pay for freedom. If it will take you going up to your hostel or wherever to come down. After sleep, you wake up and say, I will obtain victory. It's all truth. Which area in your life that when you look at it, it doesn't make you happy? When you look at your family, in one area or the other, you are not happy. My dear, remember, the Bible said that all creation all creation all creation it didn't say some okay before you start talking the person talking to you my sister gave me a message on when is there what you saw she wrote it and gave it to me today. I laugh. Praise the Lord. You know why I laugh?
people, especially the kingdom of darkness, they don't believe that they cannot do this. They always what? Try. That's why you must always buckle up. Your belt must be in the place it's supposed to be. About two months or thereabout, a woman, I know her. I was to pass here. She hid somewhere and was throwing stone. And the type of stone you was throwing, anywhere you hit it will wound you. So I went straight to where she hid herself, drew her out, held her leg. She, she, she was shouting, don't you know that I'm a woman? I'm a woman. I didn't listen to her. I lift the leg up, wash the leg. Leave the other one, watch. And she was crying in pain. I left her. If I want to kill her, I will kill her. This is special remedy. If I want to, I will just squeeze her neck. But we are afraid. Why are we afraid? One, we have children. Two, the Bible said that the masters will receive a greater judgment. That's the Bible. Unless you don't understand the Bible. So, when we traveled, I traveled, I came back a weekend now. I was told that since two months, that woman had not been able to walk. I didn't say anything. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Why did I say it? To prove to you that what the Bible said is what? Correct. Nobody's exempted. Nobody. That the whole creation, the whole. So, my dear, whatever you will do to free yourself, go ahead and do it. I didn't tell anybody, neither will I tell anybody. The woman is wicked. So, when she gave me the message, I laughed. Because I already knew already. I love. And I don't know when she will recover. She may recover, but the truth is that she can't be herself again. If she, I thought she would walk, she would be limping. Because I hit her hard. Put her leg. Other one. So that she will not come out to go and hide anywhere again. To do evil. So I want you to pray and thank God you know yourself. You know where you came from. You know the things you are saying. One word is this, my dear. From the beginning, it was not word so. Something went wrong. So I want you to talk to God. Begin to pinpoint that areas. And said, in this program, the theme of the program is victory through the blood. Ask God to give you victory in those areas. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Vias all over the world, wherever you are, hearing the sound of my voice, open your mouth and begin to talk to God in the areas you know you have been, that's, that's been in your life. You matter the type of pain. You matter how long it has lasted. My dear, one day is enough for God to set you free. For God to set you free. A day is enough. Pray and thank God. You don't need to deceive yourself. That you have everything. You are not telling the truth. I will believe in the word of God more than you. The word of God said that every creature, unless you are not created, 
Every creature groaned in pain. They had pain in one area or the other. Present before the living God. Victory through the blood. The blood will give you victory over your enemies. area are you receiving pain when you remember it you are not happy time for your redemption has come your salvation has come present it before the living God present before the living God which areas Which area do you want God? Present before God. Talk to God. Talk to Him. Wherever you are, hearing the sound of my voice. Which area do you want God to touch in your families, to touch in your own life, in your marriage, in your business? Which area? It is time for you to open freedom. You won't negotiate your freedom with anyone. It's your right from God. The enemies are just trying to rob us of what God has given to us freely. But when you stand your ground and say no, The enemies have no choice than to submit. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shout me in the name of Jesus Christ. No power. No force can stop me. Lord Jesus, my victory. My victory. No power, no force can take it away from me. Put the seed in your hand. The seed of victory. Make sure it's for victory. It must cost you something reasonable. Father, in the, lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Just listen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we have gathered together as your people. This morning, I declare from this altar that any power of force from any realm troubling our life, 
with the seed in our hands, we silence them forever. Whatever that represents pain in our lives, in our marriages, in our businesses, in our finances, whether spiritually or physically, with the seed in our hands, we destroy them perpetually. Yeah, yeah. My father, my father, I may not know what your people have tabled before you. But standing here, I place a demand before the altar of the living God. Grant their people's requests. Grant their hard desires. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, everyone hearing the sound of my voice in this auditorium anywhere in the world let the angels of God visit our foundations whatever satanic agents has planted in our foundations let the angels assume them and destroy them father you put this program together for our deliverance, for our healing. Therefore, whatever your people have requested, grant our requests. And Lord, what needed to be removed out of our lives which we didn't know and we didn't ask father remove those things lord remove those things in the name of jesus this morning anything that whenever we remember it we will feel bad lord Settle that issue. Amen. Father, settle that issue. Amen. Give us victory. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can I hear? Amen. Amen. There'll be something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. There'll be something that makes me Yeah. 
from God? No. Original plan of God is for man to be what? Fruitful. Remember, everything on earth we fell, including prophecy or whatever, but the word of God remains the same. That's what the Bible says. Your words are settled in heaven. Forever the word is what? Settled. 
be fruitful and multiply. Replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, repeated, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. You are now saying the original plan of God for mankind. That's why Adam, in his time, before the fall, have no problem. Anything he wants, he gets it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Whatever he takes, appear. It's not now that devil have corrupted the mind of a lot of people. So, I want you to prepare your mind so that you can recapture what the enemy had taken from you. If you really understand yourself and then know the original plan of God for your life, you won't just leave and take anything you see. No! God wants you to be, to have dominion to rule over everything on earth. That's the way they did it from the beginning. But something went wrong. God is a principled God. If you must walk with God, Make sure you follow his principles. If you follow God's principles, you will get to where you're going on time. Church, prophecy is good. Praise the Lord. But, if you really want to excel in life, it is by following God principles. Locate where the grace of God is. And stay there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The days are evil. Satan is using a lot of people. They may call themselves church. But if you have eyes to see, when you look, you will know that what they are doing is not of God. That's why it is important for you to stay where the grace of God is speaking. No prophecy. A lot of people have been deceived through all prophecy. If you are where the grace of God is, your protection is granted. If you are where the grace of God is, No power, no force can snatch you away from the earth or take you away from the earth. If you are where the grace of God is, whatever God has given to you is secured. If, we, if you are where the grace of God is, whatever you put your hands must surely prosper. If you are where the grace of God is, 
you will think and plan better. Praise the Lord. Because you are created to rule over the whole world. If you understand it. Anytime you sense fear in your heart, you should know that the enemy is around the corner. Because God has not given you the spirit of what? Fear. Rather, he has given you the spirit of what? Power. Love and what? Sound mind. Anything you are doing and your heart is not at peace, stop. Go to him and inquire. Two things. Either he is not there or the time for it has not come. Praise the Lord. So, this morning, soon as we are going to reclaim the lost land or the lost ground, we are going to reclaim it. Because when you understand whom you are, if you understand whom you are, my dear, you won't be afraid to speak, to talk, and make declarations. Look, the two remains that there is so much uncertainty in this country now that I want to tell you one thing. I said it on Wednesday. God will preserve his own. Am I talking to somebody? God will do what? Preserve his own. If you have that at the back of your mind, you matter what is happening. You won't be afraid. Praise the Lord. There are instances in the Bible Which one will I? Give us an example. Apostle Paul was traveling to Rome. And the journey became bad. Bad. He called the owners of the ship and said, Look, it is better you don't move. They didn't listen to him. They continued the journey. And the chief is as big as this house. As big as this house. With one, two, three. Decades. And Inside the chip were 276 people. Is that that At the stage, the whole people were looking at their death. Their life was in jeopardy. We look at their death. My dear, fasting to obtain victory didn't start today. Am I talking to somebody? Nobody told them the 276 people refused to eat. Read their Bible. For 14 days, they didn't eat anything, drink any water. 14 days. And Paul was there. And God 
kept silent. My dear, sometimes when you are praying, ask anything from God and there was no response. It's not an evidence that God is not with you. Am I talking to somebody? Tell him. Tell him, my brother. I'm talking to you. Just say what I'm saying. Say, my brother. Silence is not absent. Tell your neighbor that silence is not absent. Because God has not spoken does not mean that he's absent. Maybe you are crying for one thing or the other. You want to hear from him and he didn't speak. It's not an evidence that he's not there with you. So for 14 days, they didn't eat anything. On the 14th day was when the angel of God appeared to Paul. And say, Paul, this journey is totally bad. This ship will be destroyed. The luggages, you will lose all the luggages. But because of your presence, Nobody will die. I have given the life of the 270 people. 270 people have given their lives into your hands. Hmm. And when Paul woke up, everybody's heart had melted because they knew that it's only the hand of God that will deliver them. So Paul began to address them and told them what God said. That the ship will be destroyed. The luggages, they will lose all. But nobody will die. Including the stones in that ship. What do I mean by stones? Those who cannot swim. Praise the Lord. If you carry someone who cannot swim and throw him into the sea, what happened? Who we'll go down? And before you know it, the chief will destroy the pieces. Those who can swim swim out. And the other words against the law of nature, the pieces of the ship that was on the sea, they stood upon it and they carried them to the shore. It is supposed to sink, but it didn't sink because of one person. So what am I trying to say this morning? Because of you, God will visit your family. God is looking for one person, not two people. I sought for a man. I sought for how many persons? A man. Isaiah 59 verse 16. <laughs> and he saw that there was no man not man there was no man no man single person saw there was no man and wonder that there was no intercessor so God is looking for one person 
one person. And I have a strong confidence this morning that when God come to your family, he will find you. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. He will find you. That was how all of them came out. And Satan being what he is, didn't rest. There was much cold. When Paul got that sick, a serpent came out there and coiled on his hands. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the people of that uh, city said, this man is a murderer. He had just escaped shipwreck. He will not die of what? Vipers, venom, or bite. He drew it and put it in the fire, and he died. They waited for him to fall and die. He didn't die. And they said, this is a God. What am I trying to say? When you come out from these challenges and you meet another challenge, what do you do? First is squarely. God will give you victory. Am I talking to somebody? Don't be afraid. Don't be asking questions. Why me? Why me? Why me? No. No. So, my dear, what I tend to say this morning, from the beginning, God wants you to be in charge. Want you to be in charge. So whatever you're experiencing now is temporal. Am I talking to somebody? And those things are not there to destroy you. Unless you don't know what to do. Those things are there to strengthen you in God. Those things are there to make you to be a giant. Those things are there so that you have something to tell people. Praise the Lord. So be strong. You may be a deliverer. A deliverer in your family. You may be the Messiah in your family. And hear me clearly and well, if you fail to play your own role as a Messiah, at the close of ages, God will judge you. You don't know it now. Because it has given you what it takes to deliver your family. So my dear, in this victory through the blood, you must deliver yourself and then set your family free. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because if you don't know what to do, you will begin to lose the battle. But if you know what to do, my dear, you will trample upon what Satan, serpent and scorpions, and nothing shall by any wise hurt you. Praise the Lord. I don't know the areas you are having pain. This morning, you can rebel against it. Say enough is what? Enough! Rebel against it.
and victory is assured. Why? Jesus is with us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Look, my dear. The challenges are there. But you have what it takes to silence them. If you understand yourself, praise the Lord. God has not called you for nothing. He has called you to empower you so that you can crush your enemies. Look, you can't obtain victory without a price. You must pay the price in food. Remember, Satan is very legalistic. When you hold one thing that is, you hold it. He knows until you stand against him and then tell him reasons why he must world leave. Praise the Lord. Look. On this earth, you can say you have uh, understanding of everything. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have been going to places. But the last place I went, I said, uh, I said it on what are Sundays? I had an experience. Praise the Lord. What I've been doing for over 15 years more or more. Powers came out. The people that went with me, the one that we are present on Sunday, we here, I didn't tell them. And there's no way I can tell them. That's the way I'm saying it now. I can't tell them. Powers came out. Dress. That is in their warrior attire with spare. I was only the power to go. He said, no. That he is in his territory. He owns this place. So, eh? You own this place. And I know the meaning. I know what it means. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Then I change my method. I say, I address you in the name of your maker, whom I represent. As I was talking, God, other ones has left. The meaning, the, the meaning too. As I was talking, one left. The meaning one. I turned to that one and said, you didn't hear me. As I was addressing, I was moving closer to show that I'm not afraid of. What he did was the grand open, he entered. So what am I trying to say? You will face challenges. But if you know what to do, they will bow before you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Maybe there are people from there from Aro, Aro itself, Aro Chuku. I read that in the book. 
but I don't know how real until I went there. Arochuku is called the spiritual headquarters of Ebola. Spiritual headquarters. The head is in Ray, in Anambra. The spiritual headquarters is where Arochuku is. Until I went there before I confirmed it. I read it in the book. But you know, what you read is not like what you experienced. So what am I trying to say? This money, I may not know what you are going through or the challenges in your family. But if you agree with me, they will bow before you. Look, before this time, Adam was free to do whatever he wanted to do. If you go to Genesis chapter 2, you will see where he exercised the authority. Genesis chapter 2, authority given to him by God. Because of time, okay, Genesis chapter 2 from verse 19. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that, that was the name thereof. Verse 20. And Adam gave names to all cattle to all fowl of the air, to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found an helper, an helpmate for him. Praise the Lord. Remember in verse 1 to 8, the Bible says, so that I have understanding, male and female created he but here now in verse 2, Adam have no help meant. So where was Eve by then? Inside Adam. Inside Adam. He was alone. And theologically, Adam lived about 2,000 years before he was created. By that time, and doing his work, he only has somebody to talk with when God calls them. Of all the creatures, angels, and it's the only man that God comes to meet one on one to discuss with him. Tell your neighbor you are important to God. He didn't hear you. Tell him or her. Only man. He makes time to come down to man. We sit down with man and discuss. When he leaves, Adam would be what? Alone. Nobody to talk. After his walks, nobody. Praise the Lord. So, I think in verse 20, Eve came out. Verse 20. Okay, I will have seen this. 21. 
Going to one. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept. That was the first time since creation Adam slept. Before that time, he doesn't know what is called sleep. He walked all around. Upon Adam and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. 22. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from Adam made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Yes, 23. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones. A question. How did Adam knew that that bone was taken from him? Remember, God caused a deep sleep to fall upon him. How did he know Adam was a spiritual man. Praise the Lord. But what? A spiritual man. He's like God. Flesh of my flesh and shall be called woman because he was taken out of man. So, what am I trying to say this morning? As we enter into prayers, whatever you have lost will be restored back to you. And through you, God will visit your family. I say, will visit your family. We are just starting the program. We hear a lot of things. The truth remains that Satan has done a lot of things that is troubling mankind. But when you understand yourself, what do I mean by saying when you understand yourself? When you know you are right in God. You begin to silence him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Satan's agenda is to make man to cry and weep, even condemn God. But God wants you to rejoice always. That's why you hear the sound of my voice. No matter whatever you're going through, don't cry. Don't do what? Don't shed tears. Don't shed tears. Because when you are crying, you are glorifying Satan. When you are rejoicing, you are glorifying who? God. No matter whatever you are going through, if you are rejoicing, ah, clap your hand, you are happy. You will see God changing the sorrow into world joy. Satan wants you to cry, but don't ever cry. Don't ever shed tears. Rather, look unto God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God wants you to rejoice always. If Satan wants you to cry, you have to say, no, I won't cry. Praise the Lord. I want you to stand on your feet so that you can hear me well. And it's time for prayer also. Stand on your feet. Praise the Lord. Look. For God to restore what you have lost, you must trust Him. You must know that He is able to do it.
believe in your heart that God is able to restore whatever you have lost. I don't know what you have lost. But the person talking to you, what I know is Mark 9.23. Mark 9.23. Let's read it together. To go. Jesus said unto him, if thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. How many things? This is from the mouth of Jesus Christ. All things. All. All. What you think that is impossible with God, it is what? Possible. You can't remain on the same level from year to year. From January, from March, April, May, June, July, it seems as if you are progressing. Getting to December, you go back to square one. God forbid. And it has been a yearly occurrence. It's not of God. Praise the Lord. The Israelites were going to the promised land. And they were going. They saw the Red Sea. They saw what? The Red Sea. Hmm. They stopped. And talked to Moses. Moses, what shall we do? Moses himself turned to God. God, what shall we do? God said, move forward. Move forward inside the, inside the water. Read the Bible. Move forward. Where? Inside the water. The word of God. What's he said? God. Ah. Move forward inside the water. How? And he asked him, What is in your hand? He said, A rod. He said, Use it and divide the water. What I'm trying to say, What will deliver you and your family is in your hand? Am I talking to somebody? It's in your hand. And you don't know. Even Moses himself. Never knew that what is in the hand can divide the water. Move forward inside the water. What am I trying to figure out there, my dear? You matter your level. God wants you to move forward. To do what? Move forward. That power from your foundation. No matter how who brought it, no matter how long has stayed there, this morning the blood of Jesus Christ will root it out. Even if you have eaten witch without knowing, this morning that power will disappear. Look, every family have their problem. Every family. When you look into a family, you will see what? A problem. Theologically, they call it identity. Identity of every family. And that identity is a negative one. So, it's in your hands to change the identity. And if you're able to change, the, to change the identity, the rest members of the family will not carry the identity again. And most importantly, your own children, your own world, children will be free from it. But you can't just sleep and wake up I say you are changing the identity. No. There's a price to pay. That's what? A price to pay. When God lost mankind, he paid the price. No man that is God. 
he gave his only begotten son. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He gave him. This morning, be ready to pay the price. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 2. And walk in love as Christ also had loved us. Look at what brought us here. And had given himself for us as what? An offering. And a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savour. For what? For our redemption. For our salvation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say with me in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. Every manner of covenant. Every manner of covenant. I entered. I entered. Knowingly and unknowingly. Knowingly and unknowingly. That is ungodly. That is ungodly. This morning, this morning, I reject them all. I reject them all. I reject them all. I reject them all. My father, my father, my father, my father. Every man of covenant, every man no. of covenant, entered on my behalf, entered on my behalf. By my father, by my father, by my mother, by, by my mother, by my ancestors, by my ancestors, or any of my family members, or any of my family members, living or dead, living or dead. That is ungodly. That is ungodly. Affecting me negatively. Affecting me negatively. This morning. This morning. I reject them. I reject them. I reject them. I reject them. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I enter. I enter. A new covenant. A new covenant. With you. With you. A covenant of life. A covenant of life. A covenant of success. A covenant of success. A covenant of progress. A covenant of progress. A covenant of promotion. A covenant of promotion. A covenant of salvation. A covenant of salvation. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Let a new covenant. Let a new covenant. Rule over my life. Rule over my life. Over my family. Over my family. Over my children. Over my children. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. This morning. This morning. Every power of force. Every power of force. You matter the source. No matter the source. Trouble my life. Trouble my life. Trouble my family. Trouble my family. Today marks the end. Today marks the end. In the name of the Father. In the name, name of, of the Father. Father. Of the Son. Of, of the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. And I hear. Amen. I want you to pray on that area. Every existing covenant in your family. Hear this and hear it well. But as we go. If the opportunity is there, I will talk more. There are families, when you can't enter there, they don't have steady progress. They will progress to a level that will stop here. Any attempt to go up, see, see no heart coming down. There are families, look, Whatever they achieve in life will be through struggles. Through what? Struggle. From the beginning, it was not so. Church, are you still here? Are you still here? When the deliverance minister, if I open my mouth now and begin to talk to you, you'll be surprised. And whatever you hear from me is not here say. It's one-on-one -on -one word discussion. A sister came to me and said that the husband is threatening to get married. Marry another person. I said, why? He said, she has had three girls. 
Nobody. I said, have you done Thanksgiving? Thanking God for giving you three girls. She kept quiet. I said, look, you people are not grateful. There are people that are looking for one girl. They didn't see. One girl. They didn't want. But nevertheless, nevertheless, we are here shedding tears. If you are ready to pay the price, what I know, I read it in the Bible, and nobody can talk me out of it, is that men and female created he them. He didn't get who? only men, only female. Male and what? Female. I said, go and take the best thing you have. With your husband, come to the altar and tell God, I will see the prayer. He said, the husband will never follow her. He want to go and marry another. Praise the Lord. May God back you up. I said, may God back you up. It's okay. I will not follow you. And you need a male child. He said, yes. It's okay. Go and bring the best thing you have. I said, he said, like what? I said, if you ask me from now till the kingdom come, the answer is no. I don't know the best thing you have. But hear this. God knew the best thing you have. So if you bring the best thing, he will give you what you want. So, she brought money. Praise the Lord. She brought what? Money. When she brought the money, Go and talk to God. Tell God what you want. First. Praise the Lord. I want you to declare before I continue. With a strong voice. Father, remember me. Father, remember me. Say it with conviction. Father, remember me. Say it again. Father, remember me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. After giving God that sacrifice, how did I know that she gave her best? Because I can't tell her, I go and bring account, bank account. Let me see. I can't try it. How did I know? The lady, the husband wanted to marry that will give him a male child. That's stupidity. After that sacrifice, the lady abandoned the husband and married another man. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the man was forced to return back to her. My dear, fear God. Fear who? If you think you are wise, you know what to do. When God step in, you'll be like a fool. The lady abandoned it. Marry another man. Fish wedding. The man came from Germany. Fish wedding. The man was crying like a baby. The lady was telling her, they were telling him, Go down now, you find another person. <laughs> but what happened? That very month, the lady became pregnant and gave birth to twin baby boys. <laughs> twin baby boys. That's God we serve. Twin baby boys. And 
the man was written, begging her. Praise the Lord. When you pay the price, there's no way God will not step into your situation. Pay the price. Don't say you're following God without following his principles. For God to reclaim man, he sacrificed his best. So we do what? Continue. That victory, we must obtain the victory. Praise the Lord. Hear me clearly and well. Whether a young man, whether a young woman, whether you're a minister, whether you're a bishop, if you want to sit where God has prepared for you, subdue your foundation. If you fail to subdue your foundation, you are going nowhere. As you are climbing, as you are about to get to the apex, it will bring you down. The way you subdue the foundation, Show me in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Every voice. Every voice. From my father's foundation. From, from my father's foundation. From my mother's foundation. From, from my mother's foundation. From my community. From my community. From my environment. From my environment. Speaking against my destiny. Speaking against my destiny. Speaking against my marriage. Speaking against my marriage. Today. Today. You must be silent. You must be silent. Amen. Let me motivate you by telling you nothing but the truth. Nothing but what? The truth. A young girl came here for prayers. I saw her by divine intervention. I was the one that taught courses. After the teaching, she came to my office. I was crying. I said, ah, I'm not looking for someone to cry for me. Why are you crying? You will not say anything, you are crying. He said, Pastor, you won't understand. I said, What happened? A very beautiful girl. He said, As I'm looking at her, she came from Port Harcourt. And her name there is Sister Killer. They call her what? Sister what? She has married three husbands. The three men died. They call her Sister Ward. So she has to leave Port Harcourt and run to Lagos. I said, who brought you here? He said, nobody brought her here. But she was sleeping. She cried that night for over four hours. Her cry was, God, have mercy on me. Your mother will have mercy. So when she slept, a man came and took her by the hand to this place and said, you will find a solution here. She doesn't know Lagos. He didn't give her address. But he called the name Divine Majesty. So when she woke up, she started asking people. There's only one woman that said she knew the place. She begged the woman, begged the woman. For the woman. Because the woman was directing her. She don't know anywhere. She nailed down. For the woman brought her here. Praise the Lord. That's okay. God talking to you is one thing. But what will give you victory is correct interpretation of that dream. If it is not correctly interpreted, you won't have victory. I don't know when I'm talking to somebody. If you don't interpret it well, it's okay. God 
have remembered you and will wipe away your tears. But you have to do prayers for three weeks. How many people have died? He said three. Come and do prayer for three weeks. And there is no guarantee that three weeks will be enough. For. We'll be looking at your messages. After that, I will tell you what to do. She came and did the prayer for three weeks. It wasn't clear. She did the fourth one, the fifth one. Then I saw light. I said, now it is time for you to raise an altar. To replace the altar in your family. Because I saw her message. There is an altar in their family that detects what happened in their lives. That altar has to be crushed and a new altar has to be what? Raised. He asked me how. I told her. She didn't hesitate. She did it. It's a few years ago. Years ago. And after that, very beautiful lady. One, two, three, four men came at the same time to marry her. Four. And when she came and told me that there are four men that is troubling with that is troubling her. I said, huh? You don't know what to do. He said, No. I said, go to hospital. Tell the daughter to divide you into four. So that he can divide you to the four men. She laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. I said, okay. Go to the social person. Anyone you choose for you, you take. And as I'm talking to you now, she's married with three children. Praise the Lord. Last year, I told her, go to Puta Court with your husband, with your three children. Go to that your church. Go and give thanksgiving. Tell them that God has delivered you. So those that have, that is what they have in their mind, so that God can do what? Change their thinking. My dear, that sister is not the problem of herself. She's not the cause. The cause was the foundation. There's an altar in the foundation that detects what happened in their life. Or not to her, she doesn't know. She went there when she came out with the husband with the children. The whole church, that is, there was shouts everywhere. Even the pastor. God will give you a testimony to show. When God rewrites things concerning you, human beings have no nothing to do. Stand on your feet. Show me in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every voice. Every voice. From my father's foundation. From my father's foundation. From my mother's foundation. From my mother's foundation. From my wife's foundation. From my wife's foundation. From my community. From my community. Probably my destiny. Probably my destiny. Probably my star. Probably my star. Probably my marriage. Probably my marriage. Probably my health. Probably my health. Probably my finances. Probably my finances. Probably my connections. Probably my connections. Probably my business. Probably my business. Today must your end. Today must your end. No matter how long. No matter how long. You have lasted. You have lasted. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command. I command. We command. We command. The blood of Jesus Christ destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ destroy them. The blood of Jesus Christ, 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 destroy them. Every cost, 
Speaking against my life, troubling my destiny, troubling my destiny, troubling my star, troubling my star, not allowing me to move forward, not allowing me to move forward. You alter, you alter. You matter who raised you, no matter who raised you. You matter how long, no matter how long. You have ruled over our life. You have ruled over our life. Today marks your end. Today marks your end. Demonic altar, every, every demonic, demonic altar, altar. ruling over my life, ruling over, over my life, from my father's foundation, from my father's foundation, from my mother's foundation, from my mother's foundation. Mother's foundation. Today, marks Today marks your end. Today marks your end. Every community altar, every community altar, troubling my life, troubling my life, troubling my destiny, troubling my destiny, troubling my fruitfulness, troubling my fruitfulness, troubling my business, troubling my business. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today. Today. You must be destroyed. You, you must, must be, be destroyed. destroyed. Angels of God. Angels of God. 
I want you to destroy them. I want you to destroy them. For it is written. For it is written. Angels excel in strength. Angels excel in strength. Therefore, therefore, every demonic altar, every demonic altar, you matter what they use, no matter what they use in establishing the altar, in establishing the altar, whether animal blood, whether animal blood, human blood, human blood, whatsoever, whatsoever they use, they use in establishing the altar, to establish that. Today must the end. Today must the end. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command. I command. We command. We command. Angels of God, destroy them now. 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 Angels of God. Yes, the 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 Let's 
family the end of the rule has come amen praise the lord hallelujah we fight the battle but the enemies will surrender enough is enough enough is enough yes sir some of you that are aware what is called spiritual mapping. There are people they use their tongue to say how people's life will look like and it is like that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It can be positive, it can be what? Negative. Like, uh, I think the one about Christ is Luke. Chapter 2. Chapter 2. Verse 34. Luke 2 34. Look at what Simeon said. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for what? For four. And rising again of many in Israel. Child is for what? <laughs> and rising of many in the entire nation Israel. And for a sign we shall be spoken against. Praise the Lord. Did it come to pass? Yes. It came to pass. But the Pharisees, the Sanhedrin, was against him, want him dead. But my dear, from this morning, God will defend you. I said, God will defend you. Be ready to pay the price. Be ready to pay the price. In this season, the price is a strong prayer. It's what? A strong prayer. When you say pray, don't be this one. We'll see your time. You need to spend time. In prayer. Look at the type of prayer that will deliver you this season. Luke 22 44. Jesus prayed it himself. Jesus is 100% God, 100% man. Let's read together. To God. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was as it were a great drop of blood falling down to the ground, talking about Jesus Christ. When did he pray this prayer? When he saw the cause of death. 
that is looking at him even uh, because of death. And he knew that if he didn't do anything, ah, his human nature will fail. So he has to support the human nature by doing what? Read their Bible. He has 500 followers, have inner 70. He has 12 and has 3. The times with that number, he will go alone. Alone. Whether Luke 5 16 or thereabout. Let's see. Many places in Matthew. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and did what? He didn't go with anybody. Alone. Talking with the Father. Why? The earth that was given to Adam, Adam handed it over to who? Satan. There was a problem. So for you to live a victorious life, you must pray. Look at what Jesus said in John 14, 30. Telling you that Satan is ruling, ruling, ruling. But you only break out by force. John 14, 30. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you. For the prince of this world, the prince of which world, this world, come and have nothing in me. Jesus called Satan the prince of this world. He's the prince of this world. So, my dear, if you really want to sit on your glorious seat, what do you do? Pay the price. You ready to do what? Pay the price. Look, it's not every challenge or challenges in your life will bow to three days prayer. It's not every challenge in your life will bow to one week prayers. It's not every challenge in your life will bow to three weeks, one month. I stand at the altar. The person talking to you, I have done 62 days in a stretch. 62 days. I did it. That's why you matter whatever is going on. We we'll just talk and we we'll laugh. Because you can't do such a prayer without receiving words assurance. He will tell you of your future. He will tell you what will happen. He will tell you because you pay the price. So when those things are coming to pass, you will laugh. If they like, let them plant a time bomb and set it. When the time comes, before they will press it, they will walk away. Praise the Lord. You will not be there. But if you must be there, that God wants to show his supremacy over creation, when they press it, it will walk. Because we are there. May God give us understanding. Right there? It pays to serve God. It pays to do what? Serve God. to serve God. When you serve him, the way he wants you to serve him, not the way you want to serve him, there are two different things. The way he wants you to serve him, not the way you want to serve him. Because without him, we are going nowhere. The person talking without him, I'm going nowhere. I trust in him. I sat here on Wednesday, just two days ago, three days ago. You are entitled to an enemy. You must have what? Enemy. Don't pray, God. I don't want to have any enemy. You are praying and miss. You must have an enemy. Sometimes two, three, four. 
they will open their mouth to swallow you. That will move you to look for God. Praise the Lord. So when you look for him and pay the price, he is the one that will be touching the enemy on their head. When they want to rise, he will hit them. Sometimes I avoid theological English. That's what they tell you I call dwarfing somebody. <laughs> what does that mean? Bring the person word down. So, my dear, this morning I am sensing freedom already. Stand on your feet. Praise the Lord. We're talking about obtaining victory through the blood. Obtaining victory toward the blood. So our victory must be all around. Praise the Lord. Save me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every occultic voice, every occultic voice, or voices, or voices, condemning me, condemning me, troubling my life, troubling my life, troubling my destiny, troubling my destiny, troubling my siblings, troubling my siblings, troubling my family members, troubling my family members. Today, today, marks your end, marks your end. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, in your name, in your name, I command, I command. Every witchcraft voice, every witchcraft voice, or voices, or voices, troubling my destiny, troubling my destiny, must be silent. Must be silent. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, every wicked voice, every wicked voice, from any rain, from any rain, troubling me, troubling me, troubling my family, troubling my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, Christ, you will be silenced today. You will be silenced today. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, in your name, in your name, I command, I command, every demonic voice, every demonic voice, or voices, or voices from the Waters from the waters under the waters under the waters from the first heaven from the first heaven from the second heaven from the second heaven from the living from the living from the dead from the dead speaking against my life speaking against my life spiritually and physically spiritually and physically in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I command I command we command we command the blood of Jesus Christ silence them. The, the blood of Jesus Christ silence them. 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 The blood of Jesus Christ silence The blood of Jesus Christ silence The blood of Jesus Christ silence The blood of Jesus Christ Silence, 
Let's read it together. Read it. Seest thou how I have humbled himself before me? Because he humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his days. But in his son's days will I bring evil upon his house. Is it a good one? Is it a good one? That is, his children will face the music. And time is on my friend. When this scripture was fulfilled in the life of the children, 70 of them was killed in the night. It's in your Bible, the Bible you are carrying. How many? 70 of his children were killed That's why you have to be careful with what you are doing. Because if you escape, your children will not want to escape. He escaped, but his children, they didn't escape. 70 of them were killed. Stand on your feet. Bind is no more our friend. Stand. Say with me in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My children will not go down. My children will not go down. Because of what they didn't know. Because of what they didn't know. Open your mouth and declare it. Your children will not suffer for what they didn't know anything about. My children will not suffer for what they didn't know anything about. Their father committed offense. And the children died because of the offense. Seventy of them in a night. In Jesus' name. 
Shoot me in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name, name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My children will not go down. My children will not go down. For any reason. For any reason. For the sins of other people. For the sins of other people. Put a seed in your hand. What can I do that? Let's establish it. Let's establish it. Show me in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father. My father, my father. My children. My children. Will not go down. Will, will not, not go, go down. down. For the sins of sins of other people. For, for the sins of other people. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. With this seed in my with hand. This seed in my hands. I close door. I close door. Against any evil. Against any evil. Or punishment. Or punishment. That will go to my children. Upon my, my children. children. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say no to it. I say no, no to it. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Of the Son. Of the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, where are Bala, 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 and you see both. Oh, where are Bala, Bala.
family. The Lord will defend every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare from this altar that none of us must be disgraced. We will never be put to shame. Our enemies must be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, anyone I want our loved ones to cry because of us. We fall for our sake. Anyone planning to kill any of us for any reason, the thunder of God will destroy him. Destroy her. Amen. Destroy them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we are hidden in you. So anyone consulting powers and forces in order to bring me down, bring you down. You matter where that man belongs to. You matter where that woman belongs to. You matter where that force is, is coming from. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release angel of law to slaughter them. Let angel of wrath slaughter them. Let them be slaughtered. 
let them be slaughtered. Father, this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, anyone that wants to take away what you have given to us, whether marriage, business, ministry, finances, anyone or our children that want to take it away from us, in the name of Jesus Christ, let such a man melt. Let such a woman melt. Let evil messenger visit him. Evil messenger visit her. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Such a man, such a woman will dry in will die in a dry ground. He will die in a dry ground. She will die in a dry ground. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever that is a source of pain to you. This morning, the Lord has intervened. The Lord has intervened. Amen. That pain has been removed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will rejoice. Amen. The best is coming your way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Between now and that first of December, there will be a testimony to show. There will be a testimony to show. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, it is settled in Jesus' name.